Hi, this week's prompt is explore. For Christmas, I got a new watercolour set. So I'll be playing around with that today. The brand I got is Maiden. This isn't a review or anything, it's just a normal video like I usually do. So let's get into it. So after unwrapping them, I swatched all the colours, which was pretty fun. I don't usually get into swatching colours, but this time it was pretty good. And I also wrapped the little labels in sticky tape, and now I have them in a jar. For when I want to choose like some random colours, I can just go to the jar and draw a couple out. So I don't have to write down little notes or anything, they're already with the colours and the names that it was a good idea. And then I somehow swatched them back to front, so I had to move all the pans around to match the swatch chart. That's what the little video in the top corner is. to labelling and then cutting the swatch card to fit somewhere inside the palette. I just traced the outside of the tin on some watercolour paper and hoped it would fit. And it made little foldable flaps for the names of the colours. I've always kept a journal but have only ever completed one, which was in 2016, and it's amazing going back to it and looking at it, all the things I cut out and put in it, and all the details I wrote down of that year leading into 2017. It was just amazing capping it, and it's like super thick and bulging. It's really cool. So in the new year, I'm going to get serious about journaling and get into bullet journaling. I've set up my 2020 bullet journal so that's my New Year's resolution. I also got these tubes of Windsor & Newton watercolours. Didn't use them in the video, I just needed to swatch them. It's Cerulean Blue, Purple Lake, and one I already had from a while ago, Cadmium Red Hue. If some of your tubes when you open them have a, an amount of it starting to squeeze out and you don't know what to do with it, sometimes you can squeeze it opposite sides and it sucks it back in. But don't squeeze it too much because then you'll start squeezing it this way and it'll squirt out. So most of the time it's been squashed that way. So if you squeeze it this way very gently it sucks it back in. So then you can put the tube back on without it squirting and going into the thread and drying. So it's a little tip. I usually prefer to do some character sketches to try out the paints and how the colours work. Just drew a little dude. I actually, <laughs> I actually really liked the little drawing. I might refine it in the future. So I began sketching and immediately started in a way more sketchier style than I usually do. I didn't refine or play around with it that much, I just kept the rough organic lines of the pencil and whatever came out of it was fine. I wanted it to have this like fantasy rough, I don't know, I always try to explain what I'm doing but it doesn't work. Oh and I used a really small brush for the whole thing just to slow me down a bit. It was really nice just to let loose and not worry about refining a single illustration and just fill a page with different sized illustrations and li all these ob objects and characters. And I really like this sort of style, it looks really cool. My main colours were red and green with complementaries like yellow and purple and blue and orange. And finally I went through and labelled and named everything to add a more fantasy feel, I don't know, like an old script or something. I named him San or Shan or San, I don't know how you want to say it, um, with two dots on the A. And I didn't know it meant anything, it was just on the spot, but it's like I did some searching and it's like, I think it's a name in that Warcraft game, I don't really know what that is. Um, and it's like, 
the word for sun in a different language. It didn't tell me what language, which was really unhelpful. And I think it's an actual name. And that's all I did for this video. Thanks for watching and keep drawing in the new year. Hope you had a bonza Christmas this year and bye. <laughs>